Section 5 Building Data Pipeline Using Elastic Stack In this section, we are going to take a look at how to configure the input plugin for a data pipeline. Next, we will add filter component to process the input. After that, we will load the data into Elastic Search. And finally, we will visualize the data using Kibana. Configuring Logstash Input In this video, we will have a hands-on demo on configuring an input plugin. Let us assume we have launched a new website and we are interested to know from which country we have got the visitors from. The traffic details of our website is logged in the Apache server logs and I have mocked it up for this demo. Our goal is to load the contents of the Apache logs into an Elasticsearch server and then we will use visualization option of Kibana to see the regions from which we have received hits to our website. Let us see the contents of the Apache log file now. We have a total of 101 records and the format of logs which we see now is called combined Apache logs. The first parameter is the client IP from which we got the hit from. The next two parameters are the identity of the user and username which is blank in this record. Next, we have the time by which the request was received. Then we have the request line received from the client followed by the status code sent from the server to the client. Next, we have the size of the response to the client. And then we have a parameter which is called the referrer page, which is a page linked to the URL. The last parameter is the user agent, which provides the details of the browsers with its version details from which we got the hit. First, let us create a pipeline using Logstash. I have created an empty configuration file by the name Logstash Pipeline File ES. Let's open and create the input filter for the pipeline. The parameter to create an input filter is input open flower basis inside which we need to define the filter type which will be file. The path from which the Apache log files needs to be fetched is provided over here. Please make sure that the file name is also included and let's save the config file now. 